Hey what's up guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to another FIFA 17 video and today we are going to be talking about the newly skill upgrades which have finally been released for real by EA. Um, as some of you do know, a couple of weeks ago EA decided to release them and then within an hour or so they were already removed which was uh, quite annoying. But as I said, they're finally here for real, so uh, we can finally test them out in-game, which I'm really, really excited for. Um, one thing, of course, I'm mostly interested in are the five-star skillers, but I'm also going to be showing you guys some players which have four-star skill moves now, and also a few weak foot upgrades. So, um, yeah, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you the players that I'm mostly interested in. If you want to see the full list, then there will be a link in the description which you can check out. So, first of all, we're going to be showing you a player which uh, has had five-star skill moves before in a previous uh, FIFA that is uh, Marlos, who has two versions this year in Ultimate Team. A uh, right wing or right mid version and also a center attacking mid. Uh, 82 rated and 80 rated. Really looking forward to play with him. I did use him a couple of times before when I made sort of an old, old school skill squad. Uh, when he only had 4 star skill moves. But him having 5 star skill moves now is really, really awesome. And just a cool kind of thing for, for people who have been skilling, I don't know, since FIFA 11 or something. Just like me. Uh, next up we're going to go to a player which uh, just looks unreal. That is uh, Usmana Dembele from Borussia Dortmund who has a lot of special cards. Uh, this year in Ultimate Team, um, the one to watch version of him is one that I'm definitely going to try to get because uh, he's had a great season so far and uh, he just looks unreal with those stats. 5 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot to uh, top it all off as well and uh, he does have a right mid version and also a left mid version so it's really nice to see that you can play him on both wings. Uh, pretty much the same as uh, Douglas Costa but then this guy has 5 star weak foot as well which is amazing. Uh, then a final uh, final new 5-star skiller in this game is uh, a silver one, that is Chan Turia, who plays in the Russian League. His stats aren't amazing, but it is cool to see another 5-star skiller in the game. And um, he, is, uh, he is one that should have had 5-star skill moves since a long time, but um, he finally now has it in Ultimate Team, which is really cool. Um, also, I will leave a link in the description down below to sort of a prediction video I did. All these players which were upgraded to 5-star skill moves were also in there. Unfortunately though, there are still a bunch of players which um, should have had 5-star skill moves in Ultimate Team, which just don't have them or they weren't upgraded by EA for some reason. Uh, just like Abubakar from Besiktas, uh, who now has 5-star skill moves, but still has 4 stars in Ultimate Team. It is a shame, but um, at least we, uh, we got some newly upgraded players, which is cool. Uh, then moving on to the 4-star skillers, the newly 4-star skillers, we have uh, Hongmin Son from, uh, from Spurs, who has 5-star weak foot as well, and he just looks insane too with those ridiculous stats. A lot of people use him as a striker in the weekend league, and um, I think you will definitely uh, see him a lot more often now, uh, since he has 4-star skill moves. Uh, moving on, we have Daniel Sturridge, who now has 4-star skill moves as well. Um, I think he actually had 4-star skill moves in maybe FIFA 15 or 16, I'm not too sure. But um, I remember him having 4-star skill moves like a few years ago. So um, it's nice to see him having it back again. And um, yeah, definitely going to be using him in the near future. Uh, then moving on, we have a Spanish player. A sort of a part Dutch player. That is uh, Marcos Asensio from Real Madrid. Who now has 4-star skill moves as well. The reason why I included him is because the La Liga doesn't have the most amazing midfielders in my opinion. I just keep using the same ones like Modric, um, Iniesta and stuff. So it's nice to kind of switch up with uh, with some other players just like Asensio. Uh, then we have this guy from Villarreal, Trigorias. I'm not too sure if I pronounced it right, but um, he looks decent as well. He got an upgraded version, 65 defending and then 4 star skill moves is uh, I think really nice. Uh, moving on, we have the final upgraded skiller that I was interested in. That is uh, Gnabry. I used him before in my Fatal squad uh, when we started off with a team around, uh, I think it was uh, Thiago. It was from the uh, previous season of Fatal. Um, he has 4 star skill moves now too and he has some really, really nice looking card including that 81 rated striker. And um, yeah, I think he's definitely uh, definitely like a cheap in-form striker that you could go with who now has uh, 4 star skill moves too which is really sweet. Um, then we move to the final two players. We have a player that has a uh, weak foot upgrade in Lacazette. A player I've been using pretty much all year since this uh, squad building challenge uh, version came out. Uh, really, really like him. The only thing I, I just didn't really like that much about him was his weak foot. He got upgraded to 4 stars now, so um, hopefully he will do a little bit better for me. Because sometimes he just misses like really, really easy goals. And then the final player is going to be another 4 star skiller who now has 4 star weak foot as well. That is a chief striker in Pabon who plays in the Mexican League. And um, I usually kind of use him in those like kind of cheap skill squads and uh, I'm definitely going to be using him soon as well. So um, yeah, he looks great too, has some great link up players as well to, uh, to make a nice squad around. So really looking forward to play with him as well. So those are all the players which, uh, which have 
actually got an upgrade that I'm kind of interested in. Um, as I mentioned before, there will be a full list of all the players which you can check out. A lot of players got uh, got newly uh, weak foot upgrades, new skill moves and stuff. But um, these are kind of the main ones that uh, that I'm probably going to be testing out anyway. Um, also, a thing that I want to uh, let you guys know of as well that is, uh, I'm going to be starting up Skill into Glory Season Two again. The reason why it took so long is because I was still editing, and it usually kind of takes quite long to edit the whole stuff for Skill into Glory. If you've seen the series before. But um, yeah, hopefully the uh, the first episode will be up tomorrow or maybe even today if I can get it out. But um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're going to be ending off this video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. And also let me know in the comments uh, which players you're looking forward to use. But anyway, that's where we're going to be ending off. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.